Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Saludo has commended the Vice Chancellor of Chukwameka Odomego Juku University, Ibarian Professor Greg Mwakubi, for his leadership disposition in the institution. Governor Saludo gave a commendation during a one day working visit to the school. Government House Correspondent AGK Abana reports. The Governor, who is the visitor of COOU, received a rousing welcome from students of the institution at the school gate from where he later held an interactive session with management of the school the governor who noted that the university is very important to the future of the state expressed satisfaction with the achievements of the professor marco billet management especially in terms of fiscal sustainability in spite of the challenges driving the university into becoming the second best state university in the country the governor who charged them to aim to become the first among equals advised them to rediscover the purpose of the school in an area of the fourth industrial revolution. He explained that even though his administration came through a difficult economic times, it is determined to deliver more values, working with the five pillars of government to make Anambra a place to live, work, relax and enjoy. I'm particularly excited by this particular delivery that the university has been kept open. I think much better than any other public university system. It's a major accomplishment of this university and it is a major message. I want to congratulate you, Mr. Kobe, because one key area uh, is mentioned is probably the university's level of what you might call, on the part of what you call, fiscal sustainability. I'm impressed, going by what I have heard, your second. Among the state universities. The fundamental achievement here is that despite the disruptions of the national university system, with strikes and all of that, this university has remained open. We must intentionally decide that we have to be number one. Also speaking, the Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngozi Chumu, then emphasized that the governor so will be brought to win education, revolution, and reformation, creating a rapid renaissance of education in the state and canvas support for the governor from the people. The state is suffering from your modest educational revolution and revolution. Mr. Governor, you actually started by declaring absolute emergency on education which, as has been said before, culminated into the employment of 5,000 uh, teachers. This university is your first constituency. Every home is represented here. Almost changes in the educational sector is coming back home to the government of the university. Responding, the vice chancellor, Professor Mark Obi, ran through the programs of the institution and its achievements and sources and disclosed that the institution has existed without interruption since 2018. Professor Mark Obi, who noted that it was the first time a sitting governor was visiting the institution to assess the university and areas of need, appealed to the governor to appoint a governing council and chancellor for the institution, build hostels and library, amongst others. I also need this opportunity to express our profound gratitude and indefinable appreciation to you for the statutory salvation the government brings to the university every month for the payment of our monthly salaries. We also thank you immensely for finding us worthy to share in the allocation of solar light system by the government of the state. The whole and the title of the university environment. The governor also had a session with the students of the institution where the student union government president, Mr. Matthew Obala, extolled the governor's effort in the state and requested for construction of speed bump along the roads leading to the school, buses and school hostel, and the governor granted the first two requests. Secretary to the state government, Professor Solochu Hulobel, Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Ernest Ezadjui, Transition Committee Chairman of Anambra East, Dr. Anselm Onwara, amongst others, were present at the occasion which featured inspection of some of the school facilities.